Yeah. We went uh, saw uh, Neighbors last night, me and uh, Roland. Oh, Seth and Rogen's special new guest on Wicklin. Joint. Yeah, Don Wicklund shows up. Ah, wow. Uh, Did you cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn fuck, container? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been better. Didn't have to be chewed. <laughs> it shoot through it. <laughs> To get to the clock. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I go, all right, Roland, I'll see the Seth Rogen movie, you know, because he's coming in soon. Yeah. And I, I must say the movie was fantastic. I, I did like it a lot. And you're not kidding? No. Okay. No, it's, it's you know, it's a little more old school. There's like tits in the movie. I like that shit. You don't see tits in movies anymore. A lot of tits. So he brought back the tits. And the drugs. Yeah. And the Drug drugs. Use. You don't see drugs in movies anymore. No. Nah. Drugs, booze. Unless they're bad guys. You know, none of the, like, good guys. And also a white guy saying the N-word a couple times. That's crazy right there. I thought that was a little crazy. I, that might make a headline or two. Wow. Maybe what, not, what, though. What white guy? I don't know his, his name. His, his friend that he plays in the movie. <laughs> Who is really funny. But w what's his name? I'm not sure. And has he been in anything else? I don't think And was I, that James Franco's brother? Yeah, he uh, plays uh, wow. Zach Efron's friend. And Zach Efron. Yeah. Hmm. Mr. Sixpack. Yeah, he was. Wow. Uh, he, <laughs> what? <laughs> he, was, he was almost nude for the ladies. Oh. For there the you ladies. Go. A little something for the ladies. A little, little cheesecake for the ladies. Yeah, for the ladies. But I liked it. There was no. Like, there was no, like, message. You know how no comedies message. have to have some weird mm -hmm. message near the end? Yeah. You know, uh, Seth Rogen's uh, a young uh, married parent. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the house next door is sold. To me was sold. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, a fraternity. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, there's going to be a lot of hijinks. Sure. And a lot of noise complaints. Uh-huh. It was good. I liked it. I definitely liked it, and the the, uh, the theater went just nuts. They loved it. Oh yeah, they loved it. They absolutely loved it. I think Seth Rogen has a hit on oh, his head. That's good. Another hit. He yeah. puts out He's a lot of these man. funny fucking movies. Yeah. Mc so McLovin was in it too. Oh, what do you think of the movie? I liked it. What is funny. the movie about, in your words, Roland? Um, Seth Rogen is a family man, and uh, next door the house is for sale, so he's hoping for a gay couple to buy it, but instead a fraternity bought it. And then what happens? Shenanigans. Yep. Drugs. Yep. Boobies. Yep. And explosions. <laughs> ah. Hell yeah. And a lot of raving. A lot of raving. Yeah. There were a lot of... Um, yeah. Visually, it was cool to watch, too. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of kind of like rave scenes. And, and that's sex cool. scenes, too. And what? Sex scenes. And, and a lot of sex. And yeah. over drinking and hazing. I didn't like the hazing stuff as much because it just brought back horrible memories for the opster. Oh, right. <laughs> we heard about that. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. So I think, mm -hmm. I think the people are going to like Neighbors. Yeah. But oh, oh, all right. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah, I'll go. And I go. It's it's in Times Square. I take the subway down, and mm -hmm. people are amazed that I take subways for some reason. What? It's like a poor person. I Instagrammed uh, a, an old homeless person, and people are like, what the fuck are you doing on a subway? Because oh. it's the easiest way to get around New York City. And then I'm sitting there, and there's a there's a sit seat between me and Roland. So I think it's the homo buffer. I'm like, all right, Roland, Roland, Roland put the homo buffer in. Yeah. Are we allowed to say that? Because that's what guys do. Uh huh. You should probably mm. say what I like to now call the privacy seat. Oh, <laughs> privacy. <laughs> or, or the mystical seat. Well, it's just you know an unwritten rule. If you go to a, if you go to a movie with one of your bros, <laughs> your bro, bros before hoes, you always leave a buffer seat. Yeah, Everyone you don't knows sit that. right next to each other. That's uh, so I'm like, crazy. oh, Rose got the buffer seat. Nice. Yep. And then all of a sudden. Don Wicklin comes into the row and sits next to me to try right down in the... to try to have a meeting. What? Exactly. Because I guess his his train was late yesterday. Yeah. Why are you laughing, Sam? Sam who the fuck? Loves... I want to know who the fuck set this up. Sam loves this I, who shit. knew that I was going to be at that movie and told Don Wicklin so he could come and sit next to me and goes, "Hey, man." I go, "What are you doing here?" He goes, "Well, just want to like you know catch you up on a few things." I'm like, "What?" Mm -hmm. What are you yeah. talking about? I'm yeah. ready to see a movie. Yeah, Doug goes, are you going to know who you're going to move with? I go, Opie. He goes, oh, I'll go too. I'm like, all right. Oh. And then he sits down, and I'm like, I'm not doing this here. For a meeting. I'll give you a few minutes after the show tomorrow, meeting today. Oh, man. Don't you hate when you do that, and then today comes around, and you're like, shit. Now I'm obligated. And then, so then he's like, uh, and then he decides to sit and start starts watching the movie. He's just, laughing. <laughs> not really. You feel a weird vibe, because he's not there to see the movie. <laughs> Oh. He's wishing that I would give him some attention. I'm like, I'm not giving you attention. I want to watch this movie. 
You can't talk during a movie. And then finally he uh, he got the hell out of there. Oh, he, oh, did. he didn't watch it? He watched, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes yeah, maybe? He started laughing. Like, oh, Realized you weren't going to play ball? Fuck. I'm like, no, and I like Don, but I'm like, what the what? Because oh, I'm so busy. We, there's so much going on. There's so much to busy talk man. about. And I'm like, all right, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Johnny Wicklin. I'm, I'm off the it's clock right man. now. I'm laughing because it's like deja vu. Mm. When you were in charge of the channel seven years ago, you were complaining about the amount of attention he gave you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like that much attention. You I know, know you don't. Uh, I really don't. It's a big turn off for me. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> you don't like to be pursued. Oh God! Like you're. You seriously came all the way down here to talk to me for a few minutes about what? Mm. And I go, look, and he goes, what's wrong with you? I'm like, well, I'm a little bummed on because I just know the studio isn't being redone. No, no, now, now. Things will be done when you guys go on vacation. I go, yeah, but not the remodel that we were expecting. He goes, no, it's going to be part of the big uh, remodeling for the 36th floor. And I'm like, yeah, but when is that happening? I don't believe this. I'm like, it's been put on hold again. Uh huh. So... But the movie was good. Yeah. Congrats to Seth Rogen. When is he coming in? Tuesday. Oh, next week? Yeah. When is the movie? Uh... <clears throat> Friday, next Friday. Oh, okay. Um, it can't be as funny as the trailer I saw just yesterday. Uh, can I guess? <laughs> Let, let's see. And I, I, unfortunately, with these screenings, you don't get, unfortunately, unfortunately, when you go to screening, you don't get all those wonderful trailers. Uh-huh. I will I will guarantee we got a match, and we did not talk about this before the show. Not a peep. Go ahead. Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. <laughs> the, oh, the blindsided. This looks. Why are they still doing so movies together? Bad. I guess they had chemistry for a couple movies. Okay, I get it. What was that? Fifty first dates. They had a few. They had a couple. And then uh, whatever. Oh, Adam Sandler's a powerful man in Hollywood, but... Adam Sandler is a man in baby. All right, hold on. So what is, <laughs> what is the movie that's coming out? The movie's uh, called Blended. Right. Or as Blended. Says, the Blindsided. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Blended. Yes, and it's, uh, it's uh, Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler reuniting for the third time in film. Wow. Third right. time. This is their third movie. Okay. That's They're right. regular Hepburn and fucking who? Tracy? Uh, uh, Spencer? Tracy. Yeah, a little Spencer yeah. Tracy. Yeah. yeah. Is the answer. But they film in exotic locations. So. Well, this is... They uh, love doing that. Because I... Uh, we, free vacations. Well, wait, what was the movie that we talked about this? Where, you know, bad Bonus. comedies will do that. So you get tricked into going... One of the hangover wow, movies, right? Wow, Hawaii looks awesome. Yeah. Or, looks... or Thailand looks like an amazing... And you forget that you're seeing a shitty movie. Right. They're, the they're smart. Cut. They're smart in that way. 50 First Dates. Well, blended. Yes, 50 First Dates. Blended mm. means a, a blended family. Yes. Because right. he's got a couple of kids. Right. And then she's got a couple of kids. And then they hook up. Right. Uh, through some coincidence, they both end up on a vacation right. in Africa. See? Exotic location. Very exotic. Spells horrible comedy. Kevin, from... Kevin Eland's here if you, oh, want, wow. if you want him to stop by. Can I tell no. you something? I'll compare this to Neighbors, the Seth Rogen movie. Uh huh. No exotic locale. You know, oh, need it. Because they knew that... Just suburbia, cause right? Because they knew the writing was good and the jokes were there. So they're like, hey, man, we just need two kind of okay houses to film this in. That's all you need. And that's 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 it. They didn't go anywhere else. It was just these two houses. Why would you need anything else? And there's one scene with Lisa Kudrow in an office somewhere. That's pretty much the whole movie. Spoiler as alert. far as <laughs> As far as the scenes go. Uh-huh. But if you make a shitty movie and you know it's going to be shitty, you got to go to an exotic location. Exotic you just location. have to. Maybe in this case, because it's Africa, you show a couple elephants. Oh, they show uh, <laughs> Got to show a couple elephants and giraffes and go, wow, maybe I should go to Africa. Well, the trailer shows right, a rhinoceros, go. and boy, is that funny. All right, I'm going to have an open mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you seen this trailer, Roland? Because Adam yes, Sandler is a I've very... Been, I've been holding this for months in. <laughs> He's oh, a very yeah. powerful That's man, scary. this Adam Sandler. So let's have like it up it? in mind. Well, I mean, I like, I like, I like uh, Adam Sandler to be reckoned movies. with. You, you like Adam Sandler movies, yeah. Roland? You're I, such I, a I did liar. too in the fucking early 90s. You're talking about Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison? There you go. <laughs> yeah. There's my, uh, He's done probably, what, 20 movies by now? At least. Uh, I would say five are good. I like Big Daddy. I would Daddy. say five are good. Big Daddy was good. I like that one. Adam Sandler's check. 
in jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking South Park trailers. And it's just shit on the screen. It just, and shit, shitty, shit, shit. It's just shit is flying out of their assholes on the movie screen. Right. It's hilarious. And Are they then, say uh, it's a bad movie? Yes, yeah, it's a horrible <laughs> movie. And then the... Uh, the other one. Rob Schneider is a stapler. <laughs> How does a man live his life as a stapler? Let's uh, do this. <laughs> All right. My name is Jim. I'm Lauren. Got you buffalo shrimp with a sauce on the side. Make it bigger. Yeah, let's start over. We missed out on everything because it was crank it up enough. a little. Well, let's go back. We got to see this. But the music will make They're at happy. Hooters. Speaking of yeah, speaking of Big Daddy, where they did the Hooters joke. Uh huh. Right. right. They're at Hooters now. No. Yeah. Hooters is hack at this point if it's in a movie. Hooters. A lot of pretty girls there, though. Oh, boy, boy, I'll say. <laughs> My name is Jim. I'm Lauren. Got you buffalo shrimp with a sauce on the side. Look at Who makes sauces hot? <laughs> Funny stuff. She yeah. spits it out because it's yeah. hot. He came in her mouth and she spit it out. <laughs> I'll translate. <laughs> who doesn't she spit it right at him. But who doesn't know buffalo sauce could be a bit hot at this point? Hot wings. Look out. Does she play a retard in this? Uh, no, I believe not. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, but her chin does. Oh, oh boy. boy. <laughs> I don't, know what you, I don't even know what that means. So that I can tell him I have an emergency. Hello? An avalanche uh -huh. in our backyard. I'll be home right away. It's an emergency. Oh, uh, see, they got out of that date. Jim is a single dad, it says. Right. Well, you obviously, they got hooked up, what, some computer dating or something like that? Match.com. Match.com or was it? Or was it Tinder? Oh, maybe. We got, a, we got an update Was it Christian Mingle? Was it blackmeat.com? It could have been blackmeat. <laughs> blackmeat. Yeah. Black it's M E E T. Yes. Yes. Oh, not, not the, the one you go one. to. Right? <laughs> 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 Garbage twisties? I, I don't know. I don't know. You're awful. Oh. Lauren's a single mom. Wonderful men in my life, Brendan and Tyler. Her, her sons. Look at that. Then it. Sun, sand, safaris. Oh. My boys would give anything to go on a vacation like this. No more dating for me. It's time Shack. Shack. to be spending with my kids. Time for spring break. You gonna leave me hanging? Boom. <laughs> None of this. Oh. I guess they both go to Africa separately? Yes. That's right. And then they find out once they get there that they're together. This is pretty cool. Yeah. And they don't like each other at first. What the? What is he doing here? Is this a sick dream? Do I have any mommy? Why Africa? Why not? We are not dating. My mom is freaking hot. Ew. No, not hot. That's just wrong. Ugh. Holy uh, shit. They're adorable. This looks so fuck bad. Thank God there's a Seth Rogen out there. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Oh. This stinks. I I'm getting mad. Let's, let's make this, another movie together. Cause, oh, it's the same fucking movie same he does every thing. fucking time. I bet at the end With they realize lines that go they nowhere. do love each other. Would it be funny if he did Whoa. something different, though, and at the end she works in a factory and she got her hand caught in a meat grinder and she loses her right hand and he refuses to, get, to date a gimp? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that movie. Yeah. All right. Oh she tries to hide it at first by going on their dates with a felt hat on her, yeah. on her arm, so it looks like she's just carrying around a hat rack. <laughs> oh, I like that graphic. Wow. It's like both of them will have to survive each, each other. other. They're in Africa. You'd think survive like Africa, but no. I think Africa's a big place. I think you can avoid <laughs> yeah. each other for a yeah, week probably. if you hate each other. No. Uh -huh. Let me say hi to Dan on Long Island. Dan. The man. What's up, guys? Hey, man. Hi. Uh, I've said for years, this guy is a fucking genius. He goes along, he finds the hottest girl he can, like, except Drew Barrymore, but Kate Beckinsale or someone, a Spanglish, whatever that Spanish chick was, and he makes out with her, even though he's married, and he goes to some ridiculous location, all on the company dollar. He's the smartest guy around. Oh. Yeah. He has a formula <laughs> that gets the dummies uh, going to see these movies. Oh, oh, yes, oh, well. and, and the formula... Works, I guess, but the exotic locales, that's what gives this shit away. We're gonna not like each other at first, and then, and then all of a sudden, we're to fall in love. He's missing millions to go to Hawaii and right. make out with Kate Beckinsale. It's really not fair. Right. Yeah. Caddyshack was made on a really shitty golf course. Yes, it was. <laughs> a really and shitty people one. People still love it. Uh, all right, we'll have to survive each other. 
Oh yeah. boy. She's parasailing. Oh. We're out of gas! Let's start uh -oh. running fast! Get those legs going! Oh, she's on the parasail and he couldn't... Oh, uh. and, and the, ah, wait, hold on! <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> she landed <laughs> and she had a little parachute and yeah. it. She's ready and knocked him over. Yeah, the parachute got Adam Sandler and knocked him over. But then the, there was a bunch of guys in the car. And, <clears throat> a bunch of Africans in the, in the car and they start cracking up. <laughs> it's, it's funny stuff, right? Ooh. Yikes. Who would laugh at that? I don't Come know. on, man. How dumb are you? That's great. I like the uh, thrilling conclusion where she gets her clit removed by a spade shovel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where, they, where, where he goes to a brothel and every woman there has AIDS, but he's just <laughs> he's just too too in the mood. <laughs> he can't say no, you yeah. know. Right. Right. All right. Oh, he's riding an ostrich. Oh, my God. What happened to her face? I painted it. She's a kitty cat. No, he's a good daddy. Like just go talk to him. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I, I can't. Have you ever considered changing your hairstyle? Oh, that's the uh, older daughter, I guess, or, right. or his daughter. All ah, right. And she looks pretty now, and he's teaching right. her how to meet a... She's fuckable. Right. Oh, boy, yeah. And Drew's proud what she did. What's gonna happen? This guy's like, holy crap, Some she's nerd. so hot. Getting a hard on. Adam Sandler's pissed off what you do to my daughter. Ignoring it. Ignoring the weirdness. I, I'm just mad. There was nothing in that trailer that looked any good. What, what, are, what are the comments? On that? People are loving it. This is the society we live in. Go ahead. Uh, okay, this this may have some kind of sarcasm. Oh, wow. right? This says Adam Sandler is the greatest actor of our generation, <laughs> probably the best screenwriter as well. Bravo. Wow. Signed Adam Sandler. Sandler. Uh, <laughs> Gotta admit it, if I were Adam Sandler making people have a good time or to judge me based on movies, I wouldn't give a damn, which he doesn't. As long as he's getting paid, well, he's happy, and that's that. This movie will do $100 million. I, that's the sad part. You looking forward to it, Roland? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't ever book him on our show. What was the third movie Thank they you. did? It was uh, it Wedding, wedding singer. singer. Oh, Wedding Singer. Yeah. Right. And then 50 First Dates. And then yeah. what was the other one? This one. And then That's this it. one. I That's feel the like three. they did another one, ups. though. <clears throat> huh? Okay, Grown Ups 2. Was it in Hawaii? No, no. That uh, Adam Sandler and, and oh, Drew, Drew Barrymore. This is Barrymore. only the third movie together, yeah. huh? This is their third movie. God, yeah. I feel like they It just seems like they've done 20. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin in South Carolina. <laughs> they go on and on. Yes. Good morning, LP. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, I haven't heard of this movie before, but please Google the poster for me. I'm dying to know if they're standing back to back. Oh, okay. No, the poster. I really haven't seen the poster yet. I haven't yet. seen Let's the poster see. yet either. Slow-mo! <laughs> Slow-mo. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, they're, they're face to face. Right. She's wagging her finger in his face. Right. Which is like the face to face version of the back to back. Right. Right. And it's like, oh, you. And he's like, oh, and, you. And there's Africa in the background. And he's like, what? What? She's like, oh, you. Yeah. And he's like, oh, what? He's like, oh, what? I'm, what? I'm oh. incorrigible. Look at me, I'm so crazy. I'm, guy. The, I'm the luckiest man alive. Look out, I got this girl here, and I'm oh. just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Happy Gilmore was a shit, though. You gotta uh, like help Happy Gilmore. I, I just don't get him for the last, I would have to say, ten years. Happy Gilmore was his best movie. That fucking movie is very funny. Shooter McGavin. Right. <laughs> He's a yeah. hoot. Shooter McGavin. Pew, pew. <laughs> that character's great. <laughs> but now he likes these romantic comedies. Shooter McGavin's the guy that's in Boardwalk Empire, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, hell Everyone's yeah. in Boardwalk. Fucking crazy. You're constantly going, oh, that guy. Oh, I know that guy. Oh, that guy. So fucking good. Mm. Uh, yeah. Shooter McGavin. <laughs> the water boy was good. Nah, I didn't like the water boy. You didn't That's like the water stupid boy? stupid fuck voice the, the whole wa time. The water boy. I don't like that. <laughs> Anytime he puts on a dumb fuck voice, I can't take it. It's from New Orleans. That other one where he, with, with, with the devil there, what was that? Little oh, Nicky. Little Nicky. That. Little, little Nicky. Nicky. I put on the little Nicky voice. But his mama didn't want him to play the foosball. Oh, God, the foosball. <laughs> Bobby Boucher. 
<laughs> do you like that? <laughs> I do. I like the water boy. I didn't like water boy. Yep. Nah. Uh, let's say hi to Chuck in Chicago. Chuck. Hey, guys. Hey. Chuck you know, <laughs> The picture is this guy can act. I don't know if you saw him in that movie with uh, Don Cheadle, Rain Over Me, or Rain On Me, where he played a guy that lost his family in 9-11. Oh, yeah. It was a really, really good movie. Fairly serious with some good dead man humor. Oh, the buildings are falling down. <laughs> oh, there's a plane that crashed into the buildings. What do I do? Oh, I got to run away. Oh. <laughs> In all fairness, I gotta say I never saw that movie. I didn't either. I have heard I have heard good things about it though. Yeah, he's a good actor in Punch Drunk Love. Yeah, yeah. Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah. Anyway, back to the whoa 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 water boy. Whoa whoa boy. All right, sir. The foosball. Mama said I can't play the foosball. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> ah, shit. Let's go to Rob. Rob. Hey, dear, Rob. Baton Rouge. Louisiana. What's up, Rob? Guys, guys uh, in case you didn't remember, Awesome 2000 has hundreds of movies still in, uh, in line for Adam Sandler. That's true. He's I am awesome, man. And he's a pleasure. He was a pleasure model, but he didn't say so. Lame. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sal says he likes the Zohan movie. What? What's that? Remember that Don't Mess With the Zohan hairstylist movie? Oh, God. I kind of remember that. There's so many forgotten Sandler movies. I guess Sal's not of the Happy Gilmore generation. Yeah. yeah. Let's say hi to Kyle in North Carolina. Heck Zohan. Hey, boys. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. I have, to, I have to call in to defend Adam Sandler. I love funny shit. I love your show. I love Jimmy. Uh -huh. I love all the comedians. But I swear to you, and I'm not joking, I enjoy Adam Sandler movies. I was just in the Caribbean this weekend. We rented the, I, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, whatever the name oh, is. Oh, no. Come on. Where? Come on. That was oh, fucking hilarious. God. Oh, I gotta marry a man. That's crazy. <laughs> what, to keep his 401k? Uh, what, what was that one about? Chuck and Larry, look at me. No one would do that. They'd I'm find another know. gig. I'm with the King of Queens Jeez, guy. Right. I'm having no gay sex with the King of Queens guy. <laughs> do they have to have gay sex? <laughs> I don't know. I would assume there's many situations where it's implied yeah. like or, or misunderstood right. that they're having sex. And there's a bit of, not that there's anything wrong with that. Right. On the trailer, there's probably a, a record scratch right before yeah, they say the trailer, something like yeah. that. What the hell? This what? is the one where Jessica Biel looks super hot, but Adam Sandler has to be like, Oh, no, I'm, I'm a married, I'm a married to the, the King of Queens. <laughs> let's be fair to Kyle, and let's look at the trailer. It's been a few All years. All right. All right. Oh, boy. This is the movie he enjoyed very recently. Yeah. yeah. This, this is Chuck. Chuck. This is Larry. And they just get married. <laughs> he may kiss the husband. <laughs> and they're both. Here it is. <laughs> the husband. Come on. Ooh. Punch them. Totally That's straight. That's how we in our house, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, that was Blurdy, Rob Schneider. Blurdy, 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 Blurdy. 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 Blurdy.
Universal Pictures oh. cordially invite you to a comedy. Cordially invite you. It's you. I can't freaking fun with her. Why can't you have fun with me? You're smothering me, man. I can't freaking breathe. Because ah. you're afraid of feeling trapped. That's what happens when you get married. Badass, we're not really married. Ah. True romance. That's not a pillowcase. It's my underwear, you idiot. In the faking. Oh. Big Adam underwear. Sarah, Always Kevin funny. James. Boy, he's fat. Jessica yep. Yeah. Fat humor rules. What are you doing there? I'm so... <laughs> oh, my God. Just, just look at that. Jessica Larry. Beale's fucking oh. ass is That's offensive. amazing. Yucky. <laughs> I now oh, pronounce you wow. Jack and Larry. You are a lousy best friend and a stupid ugly husband. For the record, every time I laughed at one of your jokes, I was faking it. You're a monster. <laughs> uh, that probably made a lot of money, all right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck. It killed. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking Jessica Beale. And, oh. and her bra and panties. Terrible. That was worth having <laughs> to sit through that shit. Fuck, does she have a great fucking ass on her. She's a nice figure. Oh, nice figure. Let's say hi to Ken in Atlanta. Ken. Hey, guys. Hey. I was just going to say, I think it's uh, crazy. You all don't like Adam Sandler's crazy voices, but then you let Roland on the air. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Comment, Roland? Roland, yes. You've been saying you're a fool. <laughs> Roland, will you please say, Mama don't want me to play the foosball? <laughs> Mama don't want me to play the foosball. See? It's very funny. That's good. <laughs> I would make a movie. That made Ken hang up, by the way. Oh, you win, Roland. When, he knows when to bail. I'm just looking at Jessica Beale nude pictures, but I think uh, there's a lot of fake ones. Not this one. <laughs> that. <laughs> she's getting double penetrated. Being double penetrated? I don't know. Yeah. That looks fake. No, this one, she's got, like, she's very muscular. Uh, that she's one? at the yeah, 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 yeah. But um, that is a bit muscular. But she does look. Good. Why is she playing some paddle game at a beach, completely naked? Oh, because and somebody that beach. Somebody photoshopped her bikini bottoms off. Oh, you sure? Yeah, it says here bikini bottoms photoshopped off. <laughs> oh, so that's why the ass looks. Like uh -huh. and the pussy's a little. They didn't find different. They didn't right. find the the right ass to match that up. Right. Well. All right, it is Photoshop. <laughs> Fucking guy, <laughs> of course. <laughs> she, she, oh, wow. Why would she just be naked? Celebrity fake nudes. I don't like fake nudes. I want real nudes. All right, then check out Rihanna's uh, new pictures. What has she got going on? Can't see it on Instagram. Why is that? Instagram told her no. Right, so it, she uh, tweeted the pictures, though. What did Instagram Remember say that? no for? What was it, a French magazine? The pictures are finally out. Yeah. Ooh la la. Oh, <laughs> is that the real picture? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> What? <laughs> he said, ooh, la, la. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Just go to Rihanna's Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> she tweets so goddamn much. Yeah, but if you go to her Twitter and then you go to her pictures, that's what I did yesterday, and you got a nice sampling of her. Uh, look, look at that. You don't like that at all, Ann? <laughs> She's leaning back, having a little sip of a drink. Not a fan. Not a fan of Rihanna? Not a fan of Rihanna. Uh, the one picture, go back, that drives me insane is the one where she's she's on all... Yeah, that one. Oh, with her butt crack showing? Her butt is up in the air, completely I nude. I bet she got stinky butt. And, oh, I don't know about that. A bit of butt stinky. Oh, look at that rump. <laughs> no. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I'm looking rump. at nude Jessica Biel pictures right now. Oh, I, I, I can't I'm, be bothered with those Rihanna. Those are kind of fake. The Rihanna ones are kind of no, real. No, I'm finding some real ones and uh, some Louis, bikini uh, ones. Louis or Lou? How do you say that in French? Louis. 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 Yeah. Louis magazine? Louis. 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 Oh, man. I don't Jessica know. Biel's fucking... Yeah, I don't like her. Mm. Oh, we got uh, little Nikki actually uh, checking in. Oh, wow. Little Nikki, thanks for calling. My name is Little Nikki, and I love Jessica Biel's ass. Is it Little Nikki or? Wait, of course, it's Little Nikki. It's it's dead on. It's not Edgar. Oh, no, this is perfect. Uh -huh. All right, Little Nikki, thank you for that. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Bad it's impressions. Time to go to break. Bad uh, impressions. Yeah, love it.